best case scenario, which I thought you guys would have jumped on them to that degree? Um, no confidence. Um, why does I say yeah? That's kind of how we, going into this week, felt we could get off to a really good start and kind of be able to pour it on at times. Um, so we were able to do that, jumped off to a really good start. Um, it got it going uh, early with our running game, and that kind of got us going and got everyone uh, juices flowing for the guys up front. Gave them a ton of confidence off the jump, and then we were able to kind of build off of that. And I mean, you didn't almost didn't even realize that was 42, uh, kind of when you're going at half. But uh, I mean, for us, that's kind of you know not what we expected, but that's kind of what we expect of ourselves. Do you mind throwing in the rain? It used to be people didn't throw in the rain. Now everyone throws in the rain. Yeah, I mean, it's not too big a deal. They do a good job of keeping balls dry and you know, you know do some things to keep your hands dry. And uh, it you know, didn't really there was any time where kind of the ball felt super slippery or uh, you know really slipped out of my hand and stuff. So it wasn't a big deal. And as far as it, revising the offense, that doesn't happen, right? For for just wetness, just rain. No, not really. Do I mean, what you guys Yeah, Coach Moore is going to expect us to be able to go out and execute rain, shine, or snow, whatever it might be. So. Chris, where do you rank this game throughout your season as far as, you know, you're 11 games in now. I thought this was one of your, maybe one of your best games of the season. Where where do you rank this game as far as, you know, looking back at other ones? Do you think it was um, one of your better games of the year? I mean, it's hard to kind of say that coming off, look right the off the game. Yeah, got to yeah. look at the film and all that. Uh, you know, definitely you know, super excited about the outcome, getting a win for our seniors. Um, you know, for us to start off how we did, I say, you know, first half was probably the best first half football that we've played. And if you look at production and kind of how efficient we were, um, I mean, off the top of my head, probably have to go back and look at the film, but I'd say it's probably up there. Trace Henders, how has Jamal Johnson progressed across the course of the season? Um, I mean, a guy like Jawan, his size and his ability, um, you know, the more confident he gets, um, you know, it's awesome to kind of see where he started out at the beginning of the year and now see his confidence. I mean, everyone you know saw that one-handed grab he had. And we've seen him make grabs like that a bunch of times. So for him to now have that in-game confidence to be able to just you know put a hand up and and make the play and you let him use his abilities just more naturally, not think about anything. Uh, I think it's awesome for us to kind of be able to see him doing that. Trace, how nice was it to get Saquon going and just kind of see him get rolling like, you know, he usually does. I mean, yeah. ripping off like a Saquon like mm -hmm. play, you know, there to start the game and everything. Yeah, I think it was huge. Um, you know, not only for him to kind of get his confidence up and kind of be able to get him into the flow of the game, but, you know, really for our offensive line, for them to see, you know, big success early on in the run game where, you know, you give Saquon a crease, he, he'll make him pay, he'll, he'll bust it for a big one. And I think that's where um, kind of really got the, got the ball rolling for us, um, being able to have that success up front. I um, mean, we, we feed off of, you know, those guys. I mean, that's our offense runs through those guys. And when, when they're confident and when, when they're feeling it and kind of when they're like, hey, let's keep running the ball or they feel confident in their pass protection, whatever it is, uh, you know, that's when our offense really gets going. How would you describe games in November as far as we talk about physically mm -hmm. how tough November is last week, but um, games where one team is kind of, they're probably going to fire their coach where they're, they're down on their luck. Mm -hmm. And... You guys have done very well all year, and you're, you're more upbeat. It's it's a strange dichotomy, I imagine. Do you, you guys don't even think about it, or do you notice it? Um, End of November. Really don't think about it. Um, you know, you got to go into every week you know, preparing for the best shot. Um, so you, you go against the team's best looks. You go against, you know, you talk about their best players and who they have and who can hurt you and in what ways. And uh, you kind of prepare to be able to get their best shot. And you, you know, if you overlook a team like that, that's how you see teams late in the season getting beat. Because um, I mean, teams are going to come out and play hard and, and fight. Uh, so, I mean, for us, uh, our mentality was just go on and know this week and focus on um, preparation during the week and be ready to you know, be prepared for their best shot and uh, you know, be able to come out. The even if day. you don't get it for whatever reason. Yeah, even if you know it, it wasn't there, it's rather better to be prepared for you know worst case scenario. Right. Okay. In terms of like the kind of witness the senior day ceremonies and some of the emotions that those guys were going through, what was it like for you to see all that? Um, I mean, it was awesome kind of for those guys to be able to come out and, and put on you know, the show that we did tonight, get a win for those guys. I mean. Talk about you know there's seven fifth year guys, seven or eight fifth year guys who were committed to this program when it was at, at its darkest period, and you know, those guys taking their commitments and staying with the program and and you know coming through all five years, playing a lot of football for us. Um, it's something that you know you, you can never really repay. You can never really fully say you know how grateful you are for that. And then uh, you know all the all the fourth year guys, guys I came in with. 
uh, guys that I've known since high school and been friends with and built relationships with those guys. Uh, I mean, it's awesome kind of be able to send those guys off in the right way. And uh, it's also kind of one of those, um, it's a little bit emotional, you know, a lot of those guys are my best friends and uh, happy for them. They'll be moving on to bigger and better things, but uh, it's going to be uh, a little bit of an adjustment not being around those guys every day. Chase, you scored uh, five uh, straight touchdowns on five positions. What's it like to be in the zone like that offensively? Um, and kind of having that mentality is something that we want to have that we can go out and score on every drive. Uh, Coach Morehead talks about it when we step on the field, we got to be uh, expecting to score a touchdown um, and then kind of that being the standard. Um, so, I mean, for us, uh, just kind of being able to get in that role, kind of be able to get things going like that, uh, it felt good. And that's what we expect when we go out there and for it to kind of actually happen like that. Uh, it's fun, you guys try to have the fun and, uh, you know, playing with some swag, you're playing with confidence, and that's uh, that just continues to help the ball get rolling. Trace, this obviously, as you said, wasn't your senior day, but guys that you came in with, for your class to have gone 23-5 and five at Beaver Stadium in the past four years, and when you guys originally committed as a sanctioned program, what does that mean to have that type of, uh, type of uh, success here? Um, no, I think first of all, it kind of speaks to the home field advantage that we have here and being at Beaver Stadium you know, our crowd being into it and how comfortable we are playing in front of a home crowd. I mean, to go 23 and 5 over four years, that's something that uh, I feel like not a lot of people can kind of say being in their home stadium. So. Um, I mean, that's something that it really just speaks to the volume of you know, what our crowd does and how they can impact games and the kind of um, momentum and kind of fuel they give us. Tommy Stevens obviously has a pretty diverse skill set. Is there any one trait or quality about him that stands out to you? Um, I mean, you, you kind of said it. he's got all the kind of physical tools and as an athlete, he can kind of be moved around and do a lot of things. Um, but I think kind of one of the things that I'm most impressed with by Tommy is kind of his, his mentality um, that he's going to come and work and, and do whatever he can to help this team out. I mean, he's an athlete like that. Um, will probably be starting and, and making plays and being, a, being an impact player on a lot of other teams. And you know, for him, uh, kind of taking in that role where he's willing to come in at a running back, at a quarterback, at a receiver, um, being, you know, trying to get on some special teams and stuff like that, doing whatever he can and sacrificing for the team. I think that speaks volumes to kind of his character and kind of person he is. Does he come to you on a regular basis and say, you know, Trace, you probably should go to the NFL now? No, no, Tommy has never came to me and said that. <laughs> Trace, the past few weeks, you know, we've all been talking to you about trying to get the rushing game going, getting Saquon back in it. Today it broke. Mm -hmm. So how did it feel to kind of see him get back in the game the way everyone's kind of been anticipating him to have all season? Oh, it was awesome. Uh, kind of, you could kind of see the last couple of weeks a little bit of frustration starting to build uh, with with him and really kind of with our guys up front that um, you know they're you know, working hard, working hard, but the running game just wasn't necessarily popping like we wanted it to be. And uh, for us to kind of get it going early, that was kind of a, a challenge that Coach Moorhead put out earlier in the week. Was this game's gonna be one up front? Um, you know, we're we gonna you know be on your guys' shoulders up front, and uh, you guys are gonna take us to a win. And that was kind of the the message throughout the week and then uh, for us to kind of come out and have a, have a big explosive run uh, early on in the game uh, kind of get get the ball rolling you know that just gave our offensive line a ton of confidence and you know gave Saquon a bunch of confidence uh, in those guys that you know he could just hit the hole and it would be there and he can uh, just use the speed and his abilities uh, so it was awesome kind of all around to see you know all those guys up front and get Saquon their confidence back. And you guys are kind of a dynamic duo on the offense. What has it been like to play with Saquon and just have games like you guys have had together? Um, it's a uh, it's special. Uh, a guy like him, being able to play with him, um, is something that uh, definitely uh, happy that you know he's next to me in the backfield all the time. Uh, it gives me you know not only the run game but the pass game. Uh, an extremely confident uh, check down, uh, being able to find him. We saw in the Georgia State game through it four yards. He took it 85, so that makes my life easier. Um, but I mean, he's a tremendous player, tremendous leader, and um, I'm just extremely uh, happy that he's back there with me. Trace, Trace. do you ever think about, I mean, you've thrown a lot of balls this year where the catch has been some sort of Penn State record, where it's Deshaun with most receptions, mm -hmm. Mike, most touchdowns in history now for tight end. Do you ever think about that when you're out there that, oh wow, that was just nice, we just set another Penn State record by doing that? Um, not really, because a lot of those, um, you don't necessarily know they're going to happen. Um, and De no, Deshaun's you kind of were able to know about, you know, when you, they announced that we just tied the record, so we knew the next one he was going to get would be breaking the record. Um, but I mean, I just found out about Mike, you know, breaking the tight end touchdown record tonight, so uh, that's something that you don't really realize is happening you're just out there playing. What was it like to see guys like Juan Johnson today make like one-handed catches? 
Uh, it's awesome. Kind of be able, we've seen John have that, you know, in practice conference where you can go up, put a, this big old paw up there and snag it and put, bring it down with one hand. Um, but to see him be able to have that now in game confidence where he, he trusts himself that much in a game where he's not thinking, you know, that's one of those plays you just you go up to grab it, you pull it down. Uh, I mean, it's awesome kind of be able to know now he's got that game confidence in him. And, uh, you know, for everyone else, the guys, I mean, for you know, a guy like Deshaun, probably too, uh, who's been a real mentor for uh, Juwan. Uh, be able to see him make that play and now he, he's in game doing that, not just in practice, it's awesome.